Hi, Madison, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some cozy romance recommendations for you. Oh, my cat ran away. I'm so excited to make this video. I feel like every fall, I just, there are certain romance books that you want to read because they give you this like cozy vibe that not even just the fall, but also the winter. Like as the weather gets colder, there are certain books that you want to read just because they kind of feel like a hug to your heart. And that's the recommendations I'm going to be giving you today. So first things first, we've got Morbidly Yours, which <laughs> sounds strange, but in this you're following Lark and Callum. Now Lark, her husband passed away and so she's a widow and she's finally decided that she's, you know, enough time has passed that she's going to kind of move on with her life. And so she moves to Ireland to do that. When she moves to Ireland, she moves into this cute little cottage house and she has this next door neighbor and she doesn't know who her next door neighbor is until she goes over there one day and learns that it, she's actually moved next to a mortician and she lives next to a mortuary and she goes oh i made a choice here didn't i um and this is small town and so when her like car like her car breaks down or something happens she can't get somewhere and so her next door neighbor callum the mortician ends up offering to drive her to work in the funeral limo <laughs> which is fucking hilarious and it's their romance it's grumpy sunshine it's a slow burn it doesn't get spicy until like the 60 percent mark in it but it's a really really cute romance and it's just like the vibes in it i mean look at the cover like, i mean does the cover kind of give you cozy vibes i mean it's literally a gravestone so i'm not i'm not really sure exactly how cozy that might feel to you but i look at this cover and i think cozy full vibes you might look at the cover and go madison what is wrong with you but for me yes then we have Whiskey Business by Elliot Fletcher, which also this cover, oh, dead, love it. So you're following April, who is an actress, and she ends up, is this also, this is set in Scotland. Wow, we're just going abroad in the beginning right now. Um, her family owns a distillery and it's kind of, it's failing. And so April ends up going to Scotland in order to save her family's distillery. And she ends up like, you know, moving into the house that she inherited and all that kind of stuff. The only problem is that when she moves into the house that she inherited, there's a very, very grumpy man living in it already. And this very, very grumpy man is Callum. And he currently works at the distillery. And he's not really all that happy that April, this bubbly actress and like hoity-toity girl, rich girl, has like come to his Scottish distillery to come and like fix it up when he doesn't really want her in his business. But it is her family's business. The two of them are now like living together too. And it's, it's their romance. And it's, I love it. It's like, it's so quintessential. And I feel like maybe it's just me, but I feel like when things like I said in Ireland and Scotland, they have like this cozy vibe to them and like this full vibe and like the whiskey distillery and all those kind of different aspects. It's just like, it's just a good time. Um, so this is my second full cozy vibe recommendation. Then we have Tame the Heart by Ava Hunter. Now this is a small town romance. Small town, I feel like just kind of is always an automatically like cozy vibe. So you're following Ruby and Charlie and Charlie ends up saving Ruby one day. And as a result, Ruby owes him a favor. And that favor is basically the fact that Ruby has to work on Charlie's ranch and help for three months in order to help him like kind of save it because it's not doing very well. And it's this forced proximity age gap romance. I think it's like a 10 year age gap between the two of them. And he's like this very grumpy, stubborn, like rancher cowboy. And she's like this bubbly girl. And it's just such a great time because I don't know, small town, grumpy sunshine. Like he's this rancher who doesn't really want her in his life, but also like, due to like the favor that she owes him she has to actually work on his ranch for three months and like help him out and so the forced proximity aspect of it is also just like delicious because he has to see her every single day and i don't know cowboys in small town is just like a cozy full vibe so that's why this one's on this list then we've got forged by magic now this is a bit of a different one put on the list um but this is like a cozy romantic book which is a very specific vibe and i feel like you know in the full season is when you want to read those cozy fantasy romances and this is where this one was born now i don't know how to say the main character's name so if i say it incorrectly don't hate me because it's spelt d-a-e-l-l-a -L -L dala dala i don't know i'm gonna call her dala so funny dala who is half orc and she has been imprisoned by this wizard and in order to you know escape imprisonment the wizard tells her that she has to find someone who has dragon magic 
And so he sets her off on a quest to go do that. And she's on her quest. She's on a boat in the sea to go and find someone who has dragon magic. When a storm hits and her boat gets yeeted and she ends up waking up on the shore and gets saved by this elf. And this elf is the only person who lives on this island and he's a handsome blacksmith. And he tells her, you can stay here, live with me and help me out on like, with like my blacksmithing stuff for the next six weeks until the next ship comes because I live on an island and no one fucking comes here and you can't leave basically until a ship comes because I don't leave. And so she's stuck living with him for six weeks until like the shipment comes. But while she's there, she begins to realize that actually he might have the magic that she's looking for, but how does she turn him into the wizard if she's falling in love with him? And so it's their romance. It's just, it's a great cozy fantasy vibe. And so full vibes there as well. Then we have Unforgettable by Willa Astor, which look at this cover. Also small term romance. Cozy vibes. Von this girl has a one night stand with this guy until she finds out this guy that she had the one night stand with is Jameson Ledger, the man who's taken everything from her, including the lodge that she was going to, you know, what she wanted to run. And he basically now owns it. And so she's made it her life mission to sabotage him and get revenge on him for, you know, kind of ruining her dream. And in her, you know, obviously they're attracted to one another because they had the one night stand. In her, you know, kind of quest to sabotage and ruin his life, she begins to, you know, realize that it's undeniable that she's falling for him. And also the entire small town loves Jameson. They think it's fucking phenomenal, but she just has this vendetta against him because he ruined her dream. Um, not that, the, you know, the man can do anything about that personally. And so it's their, like, enemies love his romance, but his enemy is, like, on her half, not on his half. It's just an adorable kind of romance, and it's got that really fun, like, small town cozy full vibe to it, so... And the cover's also just, like, fucking gorgeous, so... That's why this one's here. Then we've got Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. This follows Emmy and Brooks. Now, Emmy is a famous horse rider. She left her small town years ago. She's kind of, like, made a big name for herself until she gets an injury and ends up having... Everything kind of just falls... From beneath her feet and so she leaves her big city behind she leaves her dreams behind she leaves her boyfriend behind and she moves back to her hometown um very very defeated when she returns back to her hometown she reconnects with brooks who is the her hometown's like bad boy and also like the number one bachelor brooks is one of her older brother's like best friends um and brooks kind of always had somewhat of a crush on emmy but like nothing ever came from it and now that they're both older and both back in town um, and you know, Emmy's kind of like recovering from her injury and just kind of escaping. They're spending more time together and then they fall in love. And it's just like, everyone adores it. Like this went super viral earlier this year. And it's just like, it's one of the like big cowboy romances to pick up. Then we've got Autumn Nights. So you're following Zach Ledger. He is a single dad and a football superstar. And a mean girl meets him at her sister's wedding and she kind of falls for him instantly. She's like, oh wow, he's really hot and attractive. And they're flirting that night until she overhears him on the phone and hears him kind of being a dick. And she's like, oh, JK, like not actually interested in him, except for the unfortunate fact that he kind of wants to win her back. And so he hires her as his interior designer for his house. And so in order to renovate his place and, and you know, interior design it, she ends up moving in with him. And <laughs> so she can't avoid him. And she starts to fall for him with the forced proximity aspect of it. And also, you know, he is a single dad, so she helps look after the kid as well. And so it's their romance. And I love it. It's just, it's autumn nights. How is this not like a perfect cozy full romance? So this is just such an obvious choice to pick. And then lastly, we've got Forever Crushed. This is an introvert, extrovert college romance. So you're following Gwen, who has had a crush on Ash since he was in the 10th grade. And you know, nothing really ever came from it. It was just like, you know, it was a one-sided crush. She was always in love with him. And now they're much older, they're in college and they end up crossing paths again. Ash, his girlfriend just broke up with him. And so he's, he's very heartbroken from that. He's trying to like recover and him and Gwen end up, you know, crossing paths again. And it's his, you know, junior year of college. I think she's like a freshman or something like that. In crossing paths again, he no longer sees her as like, you know, a friend's little sister. He ends up seeing her like kind of as like a woman now. And, you know, he's still reeling from his heartbreak and she's kind of there, you know, as his like close friend and confidant. And as they become friends, you know, he starts to, you know, fall for her and it's their romance. And so I had to put this one on here as well because the cover is also like very like full vibes and cozy vibes. And so, yeah, those are my cozy romance recommendations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any cozy romance recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget the like button. If you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.